Good morning everyone, this is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. Welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a uh, probably 15, 16 mile ride. We're gonna go up um, probably to the bridge that I normally go to, 16 miles. And today I'm riding my Anoki AQ177 Pro Max. This is the bike that's got a 48 volt 60 amp hour battery. I took this bike already on a 100 mile range test on Pedal Assist 3, which it did accomplish, and I still had about 25 to 30% of my battery left. So yeah, it, it performed extremely well. So today we're gonna take a little shorter ride and we'll talk about the bike as we're riding along here. Now that I've put over about 150 miles on the bike, I can give it a little better of a uh, assessment of what I think. I typically ride in pedal assist three on this bike. That seems to be the most comfortable speed for me without ghost pedaling. Yeah, I had to wait to quit raining this morning. It's still put a little misty out um, and cloudy today for sure. But I wanted to get out today and uh, see how it handles on uh, wet trails as well. Again, this is a 20 inch by four inch fat tire bike. Yeah, we're riding a little bit in the neighborhood streets, on the road a little bit, on the trail, so we're going to be doing a few things today. I guess you guys like the helmet mount a lot better than you do the chest mount, so you can pretty much see what I'm seeing. I asked people what they liked and I had some comments back. They liked the helmet mount the best. But I've got different angles. I've got uh, handlebar mounts for the GoPro. I've got chest mounts. I've got the helmet mount. But today we're gonna do the helmet mount. certainly starting to look like fall now. A lot of the leaves are starting to fall on the trail now. And I forgot to turn on my uh, Strava app. I knew I forgot something. Let me get that turned on real quick. I'm getting bad for that. I like my wife and uh, my wife and my son to know where I'm at at all times on the trail because you just never know when you you just need them to know that you're on the trail and where you're at on the trail. So yeah, I've got to start that up. It actually sends a text to both of my sons and my wife. So uh, they know where I'm going. And it can pinpoint you exactly where you're at on the trail too. Or where you're at on the road for that matter. So far, I'm extremely pleased with this bike. It's a little heavy, it's 110 pounds. But the way they have the battery located on the uh, frame, down in the frame, it really balances itself very well on the frame on distribution for the front end and back of the bike. So they did a real nice job on that. They got a very nice little low step through that you gotta go through to get on the bike. I like that a lot for seniors. 
people with disabilities and as I mentioned the range on this thing is phenomenal it might get a hundred to two hundred mile range on a full charge if you're down into like pedal assist one or something like that I could see that happening again I'm 225 pounds and I was in pedal assist three did the 100 miles and still had 25 30 percent of my battery left now i did buy a voltmeter so i'm going to be able to uh tell exactly how much voltage is left in that battery once i do another long range test right people thought the motor was loud on this they're not hearing the motor they're hearing, hearing the knobby tires on this bike that motor is extremely quiet on this bike. Little squirrel bike got run over. I hit a squirrel one time. It, uh, I couldn't find it. After I went a little bit and come back, uh, he got up and left, so he didn't get hurt anyway. Stunned him a little bit, I guess. On your left. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to hit him with that loud horn. Didn't want to scare that dog like that. Again, we'll be taking the detour today. Until they get the uh, overpass fixed over the trail. It's going to be another two or three months before they get that done. Nice little bit of art there on the building. Got some talented people. I really don't mind seeing that on back of buildings and stuff because people are just really talented what they put out. probably be uh, finishing the video up here a little ways when I get to the uh, detour sign and we'll start it back up again so we'll make some shorter videos out of it obviously but you gotta a little be careful out when you're riding like this because of these leaves they can be very slick when they get wet so I don't ride no crazy speeds out here like 28 30 mile an hour on this bike I'm gonna be down to below 20 when I'm riding like this and careful when I see a big bunch of leaves On your left. Yeah. 
people better watch what they're doing out here. It's standing right in the middle of the trail. I understand she wants to see stuff, but just not a real good place to do that. Unless she's watching what's going on, going on around her. Got a truck up there nicely pulling over so I can get by. Looks like we got a cop car down through there. I have no idea what that's about. I don't know if they've got the trail closed down here. Looks like a cop car. Not really sure until I get up here. On your left. Not too sure what they're doing through here. Clearing out the whole area to the right here. I can see that. But uh, yeah, the truck's pulling off to the side now so I can get through. Yeah, winter won't be far behind us now, but I ride my bikes all year long. I try to do reviews all year long. Unless there is a lot of ice on the trail, I will be out riding. Doesn't matter how cold it gets, I can dress for that, but I won't ride in ice. I really want to look forward to riding these bikes on the snow without the ice, obviously, so I'm hoping we get that a couple times this year. Here's where we're going to turn right. Take the detour. I normally get off as far as the right as I can I'm when I'm on the road. I don't really want to hold up people if I don't have to. But some people are really leery to pass a bike. I've watched them and they'll pretty much stay behind me at a slower speed, but they're gonna realize I am aware of where they're at. As I call it, situational awareness keep your head on a swivel at all times as you can hear I got turn signals for this bike now so people can see my intent on turning for sure and I put a lot of this down in the um, description box on the stuff I purchased for the bike along with the bike You can hear them turn signals, they're pretty bright, or they're pretty loud, you can hear them. And the right turn signal has a different sound than the left turn signal, so I know which one is on. But all you gotta do is, once you push that button, you just gotta push it again to turn it off. But especially when I'm out doing a lot of road riding, I'm gonna have turn signals on the back of my bike. I actually have them on all my bikes now. along with air tags on all my bikes and they're hidden on the bikes you're not going to find them
Yeah, we had some pretty good rain yesterday and today, and we really, really did need it. And I'm glad I uh, got my yard aerated yesterday and overseeded. And uh, then the rain came, so that was perfect timing to get my yard aeration done. I'm just one of those people that are very anal about my yard and my flowers and my landscape. I just wish some of my neighbors would take pride in their yard. I got a next door neighbor who won't even cut his grass. I usually got to call the city on him to get him to do it. Because when they threaten to come out and cut it for you, you're going to be charged. They're going to access your taxes, $250, $300, which they should. Somebody's too lazy to cut their grass. I'm just sorry, that's just laziness. Winding our way through the neighborhoods here. Actually, we're going to stop the video once we get up to the uh, trail where the detour is, and then we'll uh, start a new one. I actually wanted to do it back there, and I forgot about it, paying attention, watching traffic as I was riding along. So you got a little bonus coverage today. Nice and cool out here today, it's beautiful. The road there is where we'll make our turn into the trail, back into the trail again. Get up the top of the trail here and that's where we'll stop the video and we'll begin a new one. Just throttling right up the trail here, pretty easy, easy peasy. All right everyone, this is where we're going to stop the video and we'll start it back over again. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching the video. Share, like, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. You know any future videos are coming out. And I will see you guys on the next video.